Yes, today we are going to start on a new topic. We're going to start talking about the planets and how they relate to us and things along those lines. <clears throat> now, our topic today is Goldilocks and the Three Planets. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and the story is the little child shows up at these bears' houses, and I don't know why bears own homes, but in this particular story, they do. And she goes and she tries their porridge and sleeps in their beds and does all those kind of things. But the idea is, is that when she tried the porridge or the bed or whatever the case was, one of them turned out to be just right. And we're going to look at that today as it concerns where our planet is located in the solar system. Our planet is located in what's called the habitable zone right here. And habitable means that something can live there, obviously us. Now, if we observe right here is Venus, and Venus is too close to our sun. So it therefore becomes too hot for life as we know it. Mars, on the other hand, is too far from the sun, so therefore it is too cold. We call this proximity. Proximity is how close you are to an object. Question becomes, could other planets or moons sustain life? Uh, here's a couple of examples. This is Io. It's a moon of Jupiter. Very pretty. Very volcanic activity on there. I guess you would say it's very volcanically active. Uh, so probably not us. But Europa is one that they are examining to see if it could sustain life because of some of the features. There appears to be available water, although it is frozen. Um, it has a minor atmosphere. And those are a couple of things that we'll look at is what you have to have, in other words, to survive, or humans, I should say. Now, what we need to sustain life as we know it is the sun, energy, liquid water, and an atmosphere that contains oxygen for us to breathe. Our proximity to the sun, or how close we are, is just perfect. Therefore, it's just right, Goldilocks. We have all three states of matter for water, liquid, frozen, and gaseous. The liquid is the one we depend on the most because that's what we drink. And then our atmosphere is composed of a high enough percentage of oxygen that allows us to survive. Now, once you've done your assignment in STEM scopes, which you know how to get to, you might want to go to the other website that's been loaded up, which is the NASA website. When you click on the link, it's going to take you to this page right here. And you'll notice you have a bar right here across the top that has solar system, planets, moons, and then you can do some research on asteroids, comets, and meteors if you feel so compelled. But if we look, when you run your cursor over moon, it's going to give you moons, and it shows you how many moons we currently understand each planet to have. Notice Earth has one major moon. Jupiter up to this point has 79. <clears throat> Saturn, they have discovered up to 82 moons, and then we can see some of the others are much more than Earth. You can also click on the Solar System tab, and it'll tell you about our solar system in general, our sun. It's called the Kuiper Belt the Oort cloud, where they believe that many comets come from, and then out beyond the solar system, what we understand of that. And finally, over here, we can do the planets, and you can go, if you have a particularly favorite planet, mine happens to be Saturn due to the rings. Um, Jupiter is an interesting one because we are not actually sure what composition the surface of the planet is because it's a gas giant. It's not a rocky planet like we are, it is primarily gases. They believed at one time that Jupiter, if it had been more massive, could have actually become a star itself. So these are things you might want to kind of explore. Make sure that when you are doing the STEM scopes that you're paying close attention. Um, think about the three basic things that we need for survival on our planet. The sun, heat, which regulates our temperature, water, and then gases, primarily oxygen. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Maybe if I can make this stop. Oh, look. <laughs>